Hello everybody, Chris here. So this piano felt really clunky when you played it. So here's the main reason why, is the jack was way under the knuckle. See that? That's quite far under there, so the jack has to go across a lot of surface to escape. So here's a, the neighbor, if you can see that, after I've adjusted it. The back is supposed to be lined with the core. So quite a bit of difference, isn't it? Yep, quite a bit of difference. So to adjust the jack position, you have to turn a screw in the front. And let me show you that. So on this piano, it's got the wood buttons. And you got to get this tool somehow in there and get to those little screws that are right up there in the back if you can see them the problem is you're going through a, a fence more or less and then you're trying to angle up like this to get to that screw back there but the screw is pointing upwards so it's very difficult but here's what um, Baldwin did they made this removable so there's a screw under there and a screw under there holding up a section on each section. So here's what it looks like when you take it off. Now all of those are accessible. So I'm sure glad that this one has that feature. That I'm sure makes it a lot simple. And then I discovered while I was doing this, I, th I was thinking that uh, since that's exposed and there's no let off, now the hammer's can go all the way up to the string and block against the string. And I can use that feature to uh, precisely space the hammers to the strings. So kind of two birds with one stone. So I like this feature. For spacing hammers you need this tool. And this tool goes up there, latches onto the flange and then you can go left and right. You want to loosen the screw just slightly. I like this method. So with those let off buttons taken off, can easily put the hammers up to the strings and line them up and I'm in the front of the piano what you're looking at into is a mirror so I'll show you that mirror little story behind that here's that mirror so I can see the hammers coming up and this mirror I got this in 2003 when I went to a piano technicians conference in Oregon. Imagine that was 20 years ago already. It seems like yesterday. Anyways, I got this as a souvenir. I've had it ever since. Been pretty darn useful over the years. So, all right. Don't want to break it now. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.